Hello, hello, hello. So this is the second update and it's been quite a week. So um, first of all, I've been painting the river. So uh, this is my local river, Oita River. And this is what it looks like from my drone. So this is my favourite painting. So I've done, I've done paintings of the river like this before last year. And um, I think it's one of those subjects that I've become a bit obsessed with and will now and again keep going back to and painting again. And here's another one I did and this time portrait format. And um, I was quite interested, interested with the, the pattern of light across the surface of the river and these um, small islands in the middle of the river. And the reason also why I did this particular painting is I now have a course and I'm teaching about using white paint and um, this painting uses quite a bit of white paint so obviously here for the um, tops of the buildings and also for the um, path here I mix it with a, another colour to get a kind of um, yeah a slightly well browner colour you can see it better on this one I think no, maybe not. But anyway, I'll show you later. I mix it with another colour to get a kind of milky brown colour, which looks quite good. And also for the uh, background, I made the uh, background hazy and the mountain soft by painting over it with uh, a watery mix of white paint. So I think it looks pretty good. Some people, some artists, watercolour artists think using white paint is a complete no-no and should be banned but for me the most important thing is the result and if it looks good then I'll use it and it really makes the painting process a lot easier as well so yeah this was another one I did this may have been the first one and I don't know why I painted this island green it does not match so uh, I had another go and this time I decided to paint it the brown colour but it's a bigger size this one but it kind of became a more reddish brown so I quite like this maybe I got a bit stiff when I painted this picture because I was videoing myself doing it and so so I'm not sure it's got quite the looseness of the previous one. Shall I show you it again? I think that's probably better, apart from that green island. <laughs> that's weird. Anyway, this is my final one. And I think that's enough. I've done enough. But I'm quite happy with this one. I added some trees here. And yeah, here with this path, this is a mix of white paint and um, yellow ochre and alizarin crimson so i think that works quite well yes yeah, so i'm i'm happy with this painting i think it's good yeah very interesting but it took a lot of effort to make this area down here darker it took a lot of effort to do that okay and then i got a little bit bored and moved on to another thing which was this tree and this is once again by the river and I had some photos I I walk by the river every day and um, whenever I see a good scene I'll take a photo and I saw this tree and although it's a green tree because of the sunlight it had a purplish color and I just thought that looks beautiful and you've got this purple here but the shadow was a blue colour and then you've got this warm yellow winter grass and I just thought these are really nice colours and so I had to go at painting that and um, once again I decided to go for a portrait format and um, yeah I'm really quite happy with that and um, I had another photo from the river and 
again it was a tree with the light hitting the tree and giving it an unusual colour, this time orange. But I went a little bit crazy and I added a bit of green here and a bit of blue here. And I got really interested in this grass and the, the texture of the grass. And I think I did a really good job of that. The only thing I'm disappointed about is that this was just playing around, but I wish I'd done a sky because if I'd done a sky, then this might have been a really good painting. Anyway, today I had another go and um, yeah, it's a little bit different. Um, I love the sun in this one and I love this faint blue mountain, this, this, and this is good, but the purple needs to be stronger, much stronger. Let's have a look. Yeah, you can really see the purple there, but here it's not so obvious. And this is um, like a concrete factory or whatever. There's lots of them in Japan. And uh, I think we maybe should get rid of that. Don't you think so? Let me know in the comments, yeah? I, I don't think that adds to the painting. So yeah, so I'm going to get rid of that one. And which do you prefer? Do you like the landscape format or the portrait format? I, I think this portrait one is looking much better, much more exciting than this one. But this is not bad. I love the, um, the light, the sky in this one and this, this faint blue mountain. So what I did here was I did the sky first, I let it dry, then I wet this area and then I did blue on top. But timing is critical. You have to wait a while before you do this. And also um, you just touch it with your brush, with paint on your brush and you just touch the surface. And if the paint spreads really quickly, then you know it's too soon and you've just got to wait a little bit longer. But it looks really good, right? Okay, and the final thing with the painting is to show you something I did in early January. So um, this place is called Kuju. It's a beautiful national park. And um, yeah, this, this basically, there's a big story behind this. Basically, um, there's a cafe gallery place in this national park and I did an exhibition there and I sold no paintings and I was so disappointed. Yeah, 2019 this happened and I, I uh, basically left the gallery on the last day and I drove off into this national park area and it was a dismal day. It might have been raining, it was cloudy, it was dull. And I was feeling so down, so down. And then suddenly the clouds parted, the sun came out. It was beautiful gold and white mist and then the golden winter grass. It was amazing. And I did a lot of paintings from that particular scene i took photos and then did paintings and that was in 2019 maybe 2020 i did that and uh, i've returned back to the subject and that often happens with me if something really inspires me i suppose then i'll go back and paint it again and again and again and so yeah I hope you're not seeing this as like a, a big fist coming down. <laughs> the fist of God. No, no, I don't want it. I don't want people to see it like that. But I had a lot of fun doing this and I used a liner brush to get these lines of light in the sky. And I think it looks really beautiful. So I'm so happy with this and the uh, soft mountain and the mist and the golden yellow winter grass and um, I did quite a few nowadays I I tend to do like a, a series it just stops me from making too many paintings and what do I do with them yeah so I just tend to do a series now nowadays 
So here's another one, this time with a wall and a tree and some fir trees. And another one. And this time you've got that, once again, that really dramatic lighting effect. But the grass is a bit dull in this one. So, and then the final one. And I really like the sky in this one. And I think I even used um, white paint here on my liner brush. And that's while the um, sky area was wet. And this too has been done with white paint. So I quite like it. And I think that looks really, um, really nice. I'm very happy with that. Okay, so a few personal things because you might find it interesting. If you don't, let me know. Um, I made a list. So um, I, um, I'm reading a book, a biography about Gogam. I think that's how you pronounce his name. And um, I wanted to read about him because I learned that he became a successful banker. He had a wife and a child. And one day he just decided that he was unhappy with his situation and he quit his job, left his wife and child and went off to somewhere like Tahiti and became an artist. And I thought that's that's very interesting. So I wanted to read about him. So I got his book. Well, I got a book about him. And the very first page begins with the uh, with Gauguin being 54 years old and he's writing his memoirs. And he says that he tried to poison himself a few days ago and failed. And he adds that his 14 year old wife has just left him and that's his third wife. And he's covered in syphilitic, is that how you say it? Syphilis as an adjective, syphilitic sores of which luckily I have no experience and hopefully will never have any, any experience of, but very, very larger than life person. So I'm enjoying reading that book. The second thing was that we had an earthquake. So about 1.30 in the morning, the whole house started to sway and it was bad. The television fell down and we all crouched under the, um, the table, the dining room table, my wife, my daughter and me above them. And luckily we were okay, but it was a bit scary. And anyway, I've been researching if there's such a thing as an earthquake proof table. And there is, but sadly, I don't seem to be able to buy one in Japan, but that's what I'm looking for. So if you can give me any help on that, it would be much, much appreciated. And if not, then maybe I'll have to make one. But anyway, yeah, life is definitely, um, my life is not like Gogan, but yeah, some interesting things happen. And then the final thing is, last year I um, began doing some gardening and uh, I have a very small garden in the city next to a very busy road, but I did manage to grow some potatoes. I was so delighted, it's my first time it was like magic. It was just like magic. Anyway, I ate them and they were delicious. And recently I uh, saw these plants in the garden that were very, very high up and there was many of them. And I thought I need to pull them up because it just doesn't look very nice. And I was thinking, is there anything under there? And anyway, there was there was some daikon. So daikon is Japanese radish. Normally they're about this big, but mine were this big, but I was so happy and I ate one of them and it was delicious. So I just thought I'd share that with you. And um, oh, and also the final, final thing, I didn't do a lot of painting this last week because I made a video and um, it's over one hour and it's basically full of instrumental music and 
I thought that people could listen to it while they're studying or something and at the same time I could show my paintings it's one of my ways of trying to show people my work but also I'm hoping that people will just play it and then leave it running while they're studying and obviously that will help my YouTube account because it will increase my number of hours and uh, so I made this video and the thing was it took a lot of time it's got about 64 paintings on it and uh, it's most of the paintings or a lot of the paintings I did from 2021 but I couldn't show everything because it was too much so if I went on a painting trip, for example, and I did about seven or eight or nine or ten paintings, I just show one of them or two or three. But anyway, at the end of this video, I'm going to have a link. And so you'll be able to see that video. And um, anyway, I hope you enjoy it. But this is what happened. I just my plan was every day I would do maybe half an hour or one hour. And then I would do painting or normal stuff. But actually what happened is I couldn't stop. I was like glued to the chair. And sometimes that happens to me. And I, it was like tedious at times because I had to do all these titles. So if you want a good laugh, just look at some of my titles. I mean, some of them really want to make me cringe. Like, let me think of one. Highway in Heaven. <laughs> it's difficult um titles are difficult i kind of swing between something that's very prosaic like this is a highway in oita prefecture to something that's really pretentious uh like highway in heaven but how do you say that so anyway basically if you if you look at that video and you have any ideas about better titles please let me know because if i like it i'll change it i really really will because you know two brains are better than one in my opinion but anyway i got really a bit obsessive about making that video and then i also did it in japanese which uh, my japanese is so 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 god knows what those titles are like in Japanese but anyway I did my best and that's all so this is my update number two and next week I'll have an update number three but hopefully there won't be another earthquake or anything too dramatic so bye for now and I hope you enjoyed this bye